Buying silver and gold for five years. This is my then and now video. And after all, gold and silver are my favorite insurance policy. This is from 2017 to 2022. Hi and welcome to Cash and Coins. Today I am going to discuss my journey of buying silver and gold for about the last five years. What it was like back in 2017 and how it has changed. There is always so much to be said about this and I want to give you a real account of what it's like, the successes and the failures of stacking silver and gold. Okay, let's get into it. Hello and thank you for joining me here at Cash and Coins. I hope you're doing well. And as I said, today I will discuss my journey buying silver and gold for five years straight. So let's jump right in. Now let's look at these charts. In 2017, the low was about $15.20 and the high was about $18.60. Now let's jump forward to 2022. The low this year has been about $21.80 and the high is about $20.20. So from 2017 to 2022, the span has been about $13 for those two years, I should say. Now, if we look at all the years in between, look at 2020. The low was $11.77 and the high for 2021 was $29.42. That's a spread of almost $18, $17.65 to be exact. Now if you are a new stacker, don't be fooled by those numbers. I didn't do that well and that's for sure and I'm going to explain to you why. I do buy using the dollar cost averaging method. You know I always buy some at least every once a month and that is very important to me. Keep buying. Now don't buy if the spot jumps too high, if there's a big peak, but keep buying. Now, why do I say don't be fooled? You see, when silver dropped to $11.77 in 2022, guess what happened? It was selling with a very high premium. You couldn't buy it at that price. You could not purchase any silver bullion for $11.77. They would tack on $4, $5, $6 premium. So you were paying at least $16 per ounce. If you were a stacker, if you are a stacker, I should say, you have to realize this. You got to watch not only spot, but you got to watch the premiums. Now, I must add, you could buy paper silver, you know, in the stock market at the price of $11.77. And you could sell it when it pops back up. But I like to buy physical gold and physical silver. Now the main point I wanted to make out about silver is that it is much more volatile than its cousin gold. And the premiums on silver are much higher than they are on gold. And I'm talking just bullion right now. And talking about gold, let's look at those charts. Look at this here, 2017, the low was $1,162. The high, and that was in 2017, and the high for 2020 was $2,058. That's almost a $900 spread, you know, $896. Now, I have to say the nice thing about gold is that even with these price swings, you don't have that problem that you do with silver when it comes to premiums. Now, if you watch my latest video, you know I am contemplating switching to only purchasing gold. Now, I will, I may keep buying silver, but I'm mostly going to purchase gold from now on. Well, I'm not actually sure, but I will keep you posted as to what my decision is. But I do want to mention to you that my journey buying silver and gold for the last five years has shown me a lot. The price of both have gone up, especially if you use the dollar cost averaging method, you know, buying some every month, you should do pretty well. In these five years, 
I've purchased silver and gold, even at spot prices, when they offered those deals. Now, back before 2019, you they would offer these deals a lot more, a lot more often than they do now. So definitely, you do want to keep out, keep an eye out for those deals because they actually still do occur during Black Friday uh, last year. They did it, and also lately, I've noticed the the company uh, Gold and Silver Bull. They've been offering some really good deals on gold and silver. Now, I'm not sponsored by them, but I just I'm just letting you know to keep an eye out for them. Now. During the last five years, as I said, I learned a lot. I did learn to keep on buying. And as you see, you would be doing okay with metals because they have increased in value. Now, you know, I cannot predict the future. But you can look at the past and see how things run. And yes, I'm not a financial advisor. You know, always do your own research. I do hope that I offered you some insight on purchasing precious metals, you know, silver and gold. I'm really not into platinum or palladium. I think I have one one tenth ounce uh, platinum coin, uh, the Britannia, and that's it for platinum. But please let me know in the comments your journey buying precious metals, you know, silver and gold. When did you start buying and are you seeing increases uh, like I am? Do you do the dollar cost averaging method? I'm sure that those comments could help me and others out. And I want to thank you for watching Cash and Coins. If you're not subscribed, uh, please do. I think around 60 or 70 percent of my viewers are not subscribed. Uh, it would really help out my channel. Also, if you hit the like button. So, uh, as I always say, have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you on the next video.